Right. I'm standing on top of what is essentially a chain-fed cannon. I've got a couple of pistons set up to show... well, how many pistons have I got set up? Three... I don't know. A series of pistons <laughs> set up to shove TNT into the loading slot for the, the shell here. So when that's ignited it drops down into the end of the barrel. I've then got a similar thing set up here, so the barrel is along that length there. And these will push the shell, the TNT in for the charge to throw the shell. And let's see, I think it's already loaded. Right. doesn't have an awful lot of range at the moment. Um, it was basically just a prototype to test out the idea of, kind of it's not really semi-automatic but it's it's kind of close. I didn't want to use the duplication bug because I have a feeling that's going to get fixed soon anyway so in fact I think it already has been fixed. I think they've they haven't put out the patch yet but they have fixed the bug. Anyway. is uh, the reloading station here. It does take a little while to reload, but when it's fully loaded you can fire two shots in a row in fairly quick succession. I do plan on putting some sort of switch back here, uh, like a safety switch so you can't fire it until it's fully loaded. Because if you do, there's a chance that you could have, well, potentially you could have a round there, but not have a charge in the barrel to fire it, which would blow everything up. <laughs> yeah. Actually, let's just, uh, I'm just going to load one more shot and I'll show it in from the front. They see it fully loaded, ready to fire. And I'll end this video with the quickest double shot that I can manage, which probably won't be very, very fast because I'm not very good at it yet, but uh, let's give it a go. I'm also lagging. Oh, crap. 